So we finished coding the race and it is time for us to test it and marvel at the epic battle between the turtles and the hare. Okay, so here is my initial screen. The turtles is ready, so is the hare. So let's press the button and you can see that the turtle is moving forward one space. The hare remains on the starting line because big slip happened. The next one, the turtle slipped back to the starting line and so did the hare. So it's like starting again, but this time the turtles moved fast plot, so it's moving forward. The hare is definitely uh, staying behind. Oh, the hare made big hub, nice spots, and now it's even with the turtles, so let's see. And you can see that they both finished at the same time. So that's what I said, that sometimes you can have both uh, players finish at the same time, because uh, they reach the finish line with the same move or in the within the same round. So let's try it again. Once again, everyone's ready. Ooh, big hop again for hair. And now another big hop and turtle slipped. So hair is the winner. Uh, so everything seems to be working as expected, but let's add another runner to the mix and let's make this racetrack bigger. We only have 10 spaces, so that's not really much of a race. So I created a class called Pavel, so I'll be the other runner and I also need to inherit from the runner. Now I am not a good runner and with my best being maybe around like one mile in nine minutes or so but uh, I would say that makes me kind of a turtle in this race. So I'm simply going to copy paste everything from the turtle class and I'll be the next turtle. So here's my copy paste. I'm gonna change the turtles to Pavel. I get the current position and the lane and my symbol will be capital P. Everything else stays the same and I'm going to keep the same moves. But although I do run like a turtle, I still want my own signature move. So let me add one more move to the move types. So on the bottom, I'll simply go into add another constant. I'll call it Pavel jump. And let's say I'll jump five spaces forward. So that's my signature move. So when I go back to my class, I'm going to replace, let's say I want to move 50% of the times my signature move, which is called Pavel jump. So I'll replace it with that Pavel jump. And it will say Pavel moved, or I'll do Pavel made Pavel jump like that. And I moved, I think, five spaces, right? And that's the only change I had to make for my own class. Now, since I'm adding another runner, I have to go to my track class and the number of runners need to be increased to three. And I'm going to make the track length, let's say, 45. And one more thing we need to add in our racetrack, I need to create an object of me. So new Pavel and the starting position will be zero, that's the same line, but my lane will be two and my name will be of course Pavel. And now we are ready to race. All right, so you can see everyone is ready, but it looks like 45 <laughs> is a really big track for uh, our screen. So I'm going to make the track smaller, let's say 15 only. So let's try again. I'm going to stretch that. Yeah, that's better. So all three runners are ready. And you can see that the hare made a big hop. I'm moving forward one space. The turtle is still at the starting lane. Oh, a big jump for me. So closing up. And now I'm in the lead. So let's press. Oh, no. Hare is in the lead now. And hare won because he made a small hop. I made a big jump, but it was not enough to catch up with the hair, but the turtle is last. So this was the big race that everyone was waiting for. But you could see now how the race works. You could see how easily it is to extend the moves and add the class uh, of another runner, how easy it is to make the track as long as you want. So this is what I wanted to show you with this exercise, not just the logic behind this race, but also how to make it work so that in the future, if you have another runner that you want to add, it would be 
a matter of a minute. So I hope you liked it and thank you for watching.